I really hope this works. Not sure if it's gonna work. Not sure if the capture software is gonna work. Hello everybody, today is Sunday, April 23rd. It is 7 p.m. Uh, if you are watching my videos in order, you will know that I just recorded a Hypnospace Outlaw video and we're getting pretty close to the end of that game, which is sad because I really, really love that game. And anyway, this is a new game. It's the sequel to To The Moon, but enough Let's Players have done To The Moon, and besides, I don't have To The Moon in my Steam library, but I played this around a year ago, and I found it really touching and really sweet. Um, so this is like, and then I, I was like, let me revisit this game, especially because I just went to an airport, so this game was on my mind. And because I played it around this time of the year, like April last year. Um, so, oh, there's a squirrel on the road. And there's a sequel to this game, it's called Imposter Factory. And uh, I just bought Imposter Factory because of how much I liked this game and because it kind of ends on a cliffhanger, so whatever. So this story tells the story of a story, 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 story. What the dollar sign, Eva. That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. Hope you learned something. Look, sometimes it's either us or them. By keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self-inflicted crit critter casualties later. Logic. And lightning. We should be arriving at the patient soon. I could use a snack before then. You mind? Wow, only you would pack the glove box full of apples. Yeah, well, my nephew decorates the Christmas tree with them every year. And then I have to eat him for ages. Apples on a Christmas tree, huh? Don't you dare say it. Don't you mean pineapples? That's bad. That's pretty bad. <sighs> Scripting by those people. Animation by those people. Music by those people. Graphics by RPG Maker, probably. They're parking the car. They're locking the car. Getting out of the car. Whoa, check out this red bike. I'm yawning, oh my god. Why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we're here to visit dead people, not to get ourselves killed. Really, I couldn't tell after the trauma of you driving like a stunt double. Besides, we're visiting half-dead people, very different things. Well, let's hurry and keep it that way. All yours. Oh, so we're playing as Neil. Let's roll. Like a cucumber. What? You know, cucumber rolls, sushi. That's quite a stretch. Da 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 da. Hey, there's a leaking sprinkler over there. Oh, you mean somebody crying? Hey now, what happened here? She kicked my teddy into the water. It's a teddy bear. Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? Well, she does. And also, her name is Potato, really? Yeah, well, she also named you. I gotta say, Potato is a pretty weird name. Uh, don't worry, we'll get your bear back. Actually, let me take care of this. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm telling you, I got this one. Uh, let's see what Neil does. I think I picked Dr. Rosaline the first time. No, that's mine, you doofus. It's the new Rebel Doll X3000. They're cool because they got attitude and don't care. Unlike wimpy teddy bears.
So instead of helping her, he equalizes. What the jalapeno did you do? What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water. You could get sued for. Yay! You're my hero. No probs, kid. In your face. Do 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 do. <laughs> Justice is cold and damp, Eva. Kind of like a tuna. Ooh, cool music. I know that's not how the melody goes, but I was more trying to sing the pizzicato violins, and it didn't really work because it was rather tuneless and and limp as a as a salmon. Limp as a fish. I don't know. It's suddenly gray in here. It was so nice and colorful outside. It was. It's all gray in here. Hey there, this is Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. Yeah, I hope we're on time. Are we not on time? Um, are you letting us in? I guess she is. What was that? What was what? Did you not feel the blast of ice through the monitor? Well, if she's the patient's spouse, then she's got a dying spouse. It's not like we're here to lay out a picnic. Alright, maybe it's just me. <sighs> Hello, may I help you with something? We can wait till you set that down, my box-carrying comrade. Seven minutes, good. Thanks, bro, you really got me. Uh, okay. We can now talk to him because he set down the box. But we haven't set down the box. Oh, that's why we're comrades. How'd you know? This is the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Who is it this time? Colin Reed's know of him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Go and give him the happy ending he deserves, probably. Probably? Okay. I'm still rolling the credits, and there's some German people in there. I guess. I guess they're German, although I thought this company's Canadian. There's all kinds of people in Canada, I, I don't know. Talking about spouses. Do you want to get married? I don't know. Dr. Rosaline and Dr. Watts. Ahem. Yes, we're here for Colin. Of course, thank you both for coming. Right this way, right this way, walk this way, walk this way, Aerosmith, walk this way. Oh, am I getting too tired to record? I don't know. I just really wanted to play a game that made me happy today. Hello, Hypnospace. Recording Hypnospace was fun. Act one, tell me, what do you want to change? I want to change the economy. Change student debt. Cancel student debt. This is the quaint plates you got here. So is this uh, Times New Roman, I wonder? Right down to business, I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, because right now I really just need to put this box down. I feel you, Dr. Watts. He just needs to put the box down. He's been carrying it this entire game. Not this entire game, but you know what I mean. No, well, he's certainly a pilot, because he's got a little model plane. Get some sunlight in here. You must be here for my father. No. I'm, we're here to fix the toilet. I had to say something about the toilet, because I've been watching Nintendo Capri Sun lately. Yeah, I came as soon as I heard, but we can talk later. Why don't you get set up first? That box looks heavy. See, he gets it. Uh, right here at the foot of the bed. I don't know. Where's the medical doctor? He's here. He just went to the washroom. Is that table enough to get set up? Oh, cool. Guys, ready to get settled? Yes, sir. Oh, we could have gotten in the other room. This looks like there's a piano in there and stuff. I'm sure we'll get to go in there eventually. Like right now. 
No, I'm just kidding. Close the curtains. Hook up the wires to his brain. But first, brace yourself for a power outage of cinematic proportions. Yeah, that does look pretty bad. Guess you got a more stable power grid than our headquarters. Equally comforting as it is worrisome. You're in good hands, we do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. Don't say that. So you two are for real. Oh, as for real as you can be, I mean... I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. He can really fulfill his wish? We can die trying. But he, he's gonna die, so... Oh, I see a piano and a cello in there. That'd only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it that he wants? He wouldn't tell us. He said it doesn't affect us and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Look, that's okay. We'll find out from him soon enough. Isn't it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope. Guess I might have left it in the car. Alright, guess we got time while the machine's booting up anyway. Uh, Dr. Watts. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock to decide. I'd rather play Logic. You forgot it, so you go get it at the end. Well played, Spock. Take a little walk to the parking lot. Oh, we don't even have to do anything. Already down to business. Let's get down to business. You're the saddest lot I've ever seen. But you bet, before we're through. Turn out they got nothing to do today, though. Hmm, I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me, I'm just gonna go check on the patient. Look at the heart rate monitor. Uh, oh, okay, we're going- we're, we're controlling Dr. Watts. Are we still going to the parking lot? Neil, don't forget, uh... What did she say? What am I supposed to do? Help. Don't you have to go get something? Don't you have to... I don't know, do I? Go get the patient monitor from Colin's dock. Patient monitor? Okay. Oh! So now we have a way to monitor his heart rate, which, do we need to? Okay, there it is, at the top of the screen. That's kind of cool, actually. Can we climb the stairs? Oh, oh, oh okay. We're, we're going, going on an adventure. What the heck? What in tarnation? It's like the book version of Solitary Confinement. <laughs> One book, all by itself. Tape shut, they clearly don't want to know- Oh, of course we're un unsealing it! Unless we, like, open a cursed book. It's blank! What do you mean it's blank? Green book. Not to be confused with the movie that was based on a historical thing. That was like the list of restaurants that black people were allowed to go to back in the day. Back in the day, except don't say that, Does, doesn't... Okay, we can switch between characters at any time, but why would we want to? We're on a mission. Okay, thank you, I get, I get the message. I got the message and the message is clear. Potato, potato. A nice lady in a brown dress swooped onto the pond and got it for me. Swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water. Okay. A nice lady in a brown dress. I, I was about to say. 
that Dr. Rosaline? No, she's wearing a white lab coat. Um, but we get to walk past the flowers in this game, and the flowers and the trees all look very nice. Even the lampposts look nice. It's the newest RPG maker is pretty, pretty fancy. Yeah, we know we're from Sigmund. Colin Reeds, you know him? Please do your best for him. You sound awfully calm about it. If it were your friend, I'd worry. You of all people should know that. Oh, I guess everyone dies. It's a sad fact of life. I guess I'm too young to have lost that many people close to me. I mean, I've lost a few. Uh, yes. Thank you. Clink, clink. Click, click. Unlock the car door. Oh, we got more of this Celesta music. It's never a good thing. Dag nabbit, did I leave it at the office? It just sounds like a like an evil like doll is going to attack us whenever a ch Celesta st starts playing. Doctor Roxanne Winters. Well, don't need to turn on that red light. Neil still still hiding your caller ID. Of course, he's from like a high tech fancy corporation. Getting calls from unknown feels like I'm in a horror movie. I've gotten calls from unknown all the time. No, I love the suspense. Every time, I'm like, am I getting cursed? Are the feds coming after me? The excitements are endless. Will you cut to the chase? I think I left the patient's file on the... Okie dokie, pokey loki. What the heck is she on? What kind of sugar sticks is she eating? Hey, you got the file? I think I forgot it back at... You what? I called Roxanne. She's gonna find it and send over a scan. Okay, just take care of it. Neil, you, you, you do seem a bit absent-minded to forget something that important. Yep, it was just sitting on your table after all. Great, just scan it and... Wait, my, my table? You're in my room? Yep, you asked me to get the files, right? I meant from the printer in the lobby. How did you get into my room anyhow? I locked it. Oh, a girl's got her ways. Hey, look, just get out of there and send me a scan, would you? And don't touch anything, I just organized it. Yep, yep, on it. Don't trust her. She doesn't like us, does she? Is she bad? Is she a bad guy? Oh, well, there's a secret hidden passage in our room. Okay... Eva's configuring the machine right now. How's the weather out there? What? Is it nice out for a drive? I guess so. Neato, I think I'll just come over and get you the file in person then. Just scan it and send over a copy. Well, we've got no patience today and it's boring here anyway. Anyhow, don't worry, I'll get there before you guys are done. See you both then. Wait, rocks! Dagnabbit. Well, uh, whatever. Banana da, banana da. Does that now? Yeah, apparently the new paint isn't the only upgrade. I guess that means I get some time to snoop around the house. Cool, in the meantime, I'll go monitor the patient like a real doctor. I kid, I kid. I think that's enough for this episode, so... Oh, uh, that's my last save file, because apparently it took me four hours last time. So that's cool. Um, should we start a new save file or save over all the old save file? Because I feel like I'll save over the old save file eventually, accidentally, but for now we'll just save to file too. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this Let's Play is going to be a fun one. It should be fun to watch if you like this kind of game. I... I do, so that's obviously why I'm playing it. Um, An extremely awkward ending, go!